YouTube, what's going on? It's Marcus. Oh, I'm so sad. I just did this entire video, and all of the commentary was literally like five seconds ahead of where I needed it to be. I have to redo this entire video. Um, y'all, I'm gonna redo it. Y'all, I'm gonna post it. Y'all will see it like actually done properly. Oh, that's so upsetting. But today's video, I'm showing y'all how I play the game. How does a 130k lifeline play pubs, or just play the game in general? I might do one of these on ranked. A commentary video just let me know oh i'm so sad i gotta redo this if y'all enjoy commentary make sure you drop a like and subscribe um you know drop a like for your boy's pain i gotta go through 20 i gotta do 21 minutes of commentary again so if y'all enjoy please drop a like and sub uh, i appreciate the support on the recent videos uh, i've been asked to do commentary quite a bit you know a couple comments and stuff so here it is for y'all if y'all do enjoy make sure to you know show the support to the boy and as always, stay safe, have a good day or night whenever you're watching this, and I guess peace. So here in this fight, I hear a caustic above me. He hasn't placed any traps yet besides the one he chucked just now, and that's a knock. So that's a pretty easy fight. I know it's the beginning of the game. He's not going to have any traps down. He's going to have nothing down. Get the knock on that kid. We'll call it a day. I'm going to pick up a wingman here. I'm pushing to the next fight. I hear him in the building. I see him. He moves. I'm just, just chucking shots through that window, or through the door, I mean. Hoping to, um, you know, hit him. Hoping he swings back. And a uh, teammate kind of does that. I peek for half a second and basically get broken. So I'm going to instantly hit a bat here. I see the Crypto Jones picking up two kids aping. Teammate gets fried. Defiance gets broke. And uh, they get the, you know, the jump on those two kids. They're both dead. I'm pushing to the roof. That kid's already knocked. Wasn't aware. I'm hitting 101. The 101 saved my life, actually, because the third party's coming. Here, I'm trying to re um, reload my PK. Instead, controller things, it starts rising defiance, which actually helped me because I got an armor swap on him. I pushed up, and uh, yeah, that kid fried me. There was a dude above me, but I do believe he was knocked, and I kind of it kind of made me panic a little bit, not going to lie, because I thought that dude was up. Um, I'm healing. You always want to try to get a heal, you know, any type of heals off, because I am in like a 1v3, 1v2 situation. I see Horizon go up. Not worried about her whatsoever. I hear a dude above me. I think he just rezzed. I'm hitting this here, and right... Here, I, I figured I was dead. You know, he hit me with a nice, like, 80 pump, but I'm alive. I'm getting through the doors, and Horizon right here makes a terrible mistake. She does not heal whatsoever. She's never healed. I don't know why she would push without healing. Teammate's going to try to do the same thing and just aim through that door, get stuck on death boxes, and right there is what you call a, a GG's. <laughs> that fight right there, you always want to try to heal. You know, you never really want to, um... What is it called? You never want to, uh... Pretty just ape in with honestly. straight health. That dude had all he had all the time in the world to, you know, pop uh, oh, any type of battery, shield cell, <laughs> Phoenix kit, whatever it may be. And he just uh, never did. So that is one tip that I would give for everyone is to just make sure you try to at least pop one cell, you know, something before you just run at somebody. Because, you know, in that situation, that kid took the fat L because he never did it. So um i do hear a wraith actually running up on me you know in a second you will see me start fighting a wraith and there she is <laughs> i hear her just running up she has blue i shoot you know run at her with the shotgun and she meets the the marcus pk so that was that um and she was basically just doing solo wraith things her teammates were across the map like they were in like the other side of phase driver where we're at right now so she was just doing solo you know ttv wraith type things um but I'm going to skip her other two teammates. I didn't really do anything to them because all I did was hit this kid for like 43, 53. Uh, so that was that fight. On to the next. So here in this fight, I am uh, pushing up. There's a team, I believe, below, up top, and to our left. Usually you want to push the team that's on height, but considering this is the waterfall, we're not really getting to the height with Crypto Wraith at Lifeline. So we're going to have to swing left. We're going to have to get this team out the game. And if my aim wasn't so bad right there, that kid probably would be dead or at least armor broken. Defiance comms is a bloodhound aping me. Very great comm on his end. I'm going to get the knock there, get the kill, and I'm going to start instantly hitting a battery. Um, and uh, right here, this wraith comes out of nowhere. Don't know what she's doing, why she was there, what her intentions was. Not a single clue. And Pathy Apes. I steal Defiance's kill. Sorry, Defiance. Um, but... Now, this team, all the way at the top of the waterfall, this is a team that genuinely you would want to ape. Like, if we were Horizon or, you know, we had an evac tower, something in that in that sense, we would just ape this team up here. Because now trying to fight a team uphill is terrible. This Valk is aping me. 
I do enough damage on her for her to back off. She's going to instantly go hop behind that rock, which I'm going to do the exact same thing on my end. Um, Shoot this kid because I hear him. But I'm going to heal. I got no bat, sadly, so I'm going to have to just slow heal. Pop four cells. But the only reason that I'm going to pull back and heal is because I Valk did the exact same thing. I'm not going to, you know, force myself to stay in that fight and fight him knowing he has more health than me now. So I'm going to pop two cells, actually, and just go run in there. Now, I see Crypto's EMP, and so I'm going to actually want to start pushing up soon. And once I hit this dude for 72 flesh, I'm really going. I see that the Valk is still fleshy. Valk right there never healed. She had all the time in the world to heal. Never did. She, I don't understand. You, you know, I don't know why people do that. It is it's a terrible thing to do. She had all the time in the world, literally, to heal. Now, right here, we're actually getting third party. And there's one thing you never want to do in Apex is jump in between two teams trying to third party. Um, because this team ends up dying. The other team actually just flees the scene. Like, it, luckily for this squad right here that we're not fighting, the other team just left. They, they wanted no type of fight anymore. They know zone's coming, so they just dipped. If that team was still up there, this team's dead already. Like, they're putting pressure on this squad. This this team is already out the game. Um, I'm getting shot. I got a... I'm telling Defiance. I'm backing up, bro. I got a bat. I'm hitting a bat. Making sure, as I said, if you have any chance to heal in a fight, just do it. Um... Because if I'm just aping in there, you know, no no shield, I'm going to die. Now, I'm cooking this kid. I mean, it's, I mean, it, he is burning, you know. Yeah, I'm going to ape up on that dude. and big 91 pump. Now, right here, I would not jump down if Defiance was not. If he wasn't with me, that is a terrible play. Never do that. Never just jump down by yourself. Um, Right here, we can't actually find, we can't find the third person. And uh, he's actually riding in the mountain, you know, sadly. And as you can see, me and Defiance both get knocked to him. No. And, um, Don't teammate clutches up. HP Shout out to teammate. Grab me, please. And, uh, that's really that fight. You know, that team made a terrible play by jumping between, I guess, they didn't. But in the sense of the matter, if that team actually stayed there, that was such a bad play. That team died instantly if the other squad was still there. But, you know, take what you want from that fight. And, uh, yeah, that was that one. On to the next. And, I mean, and here's the next fight. We're actually pulling up on a third part with the last two teams. Now, you see in the feed, you see the name that got the kill. What you really want to do, pull him to a third party, especially like late game like this where you can get the win. Try to look for the guy that was just fighting. Obviously, in this fight, I can't really see him. But I see a dude that's just full sprinting away from a fight. So I'm going to assume that that's the dude that's low. I was correct. If you're ever pulling up to a third party and you see someone that's just full sprinting backwards, most of the time, that's probably going to be the dude that was just got done fighting and he's trying to go heal. So just start shooting at them, and you'll most likely just get an easy knock how I did right here. Um, you know, got to throw it on the bronze hollow spray, let him know that he's he's dealing with the real deal. <laughs> you know, you know, gotta gotta show him, you know, what that bronze life is about. Here we're actually pulling up uh, to that kid's teammates, which happens to be a Mirage and a Valkyrie. Now, right here, we gotta also keep in mind that there is another team. We have no clue where they went. So, um. I'm going to poke some shots at this Mirage. I'm going to get a break. And our teammate, a random, is actually going to get the knock. Which, uh, he had the dude for 102 yeah, scout shots. Which means he double-headed him from that far away. Right, Pretty impressive. Shot two bullets. So we're going to push up on this. And there's one thing that I will here, always recommend in in this game I is watch. Like, you've got to have really good awareness. Watch out for the third parties. We There is another team in here. But we have no clue if it's one person or two people. Because, obviously, we've seen this team get the knock. We seen him get the kill in the feed, so we know that that dude is out the game unless he yeah, didn't bro, thirst. You know, got to keep in mind about the thirst and all that. But one thing I'd always recommend is when you're yeah. healing, start doing 360s. Not like yeah, fast man. spinning, but like slowly, you know, turning around, kind of looking in like 90 degree angles all the time to make sure that you're not getting third party. You know, try to keep aware of where um, everyone is coming from. So like right now, I'm looking around for this team. And I'm looking for if the third party is, is pushing over to this direction. Right um, we can't find either one. I'm getting audio of them being below me. Yeah, so I told Defiance, are they all the way below? He says yes. And I don't want to just drop down because, well, that could end badly for us. You know, even though we technically have the advantage when it comes to players. Like I said, it only takes a couple grenades or, you know, a one mag to instantly make that fight. Um, fair, you know, right now it's unfair to them because we have more players, but you know, it, it could instantly turn bad. Right now I'm crouch walking. I hear this kid below me. 
Um, I don't want them to get out. And I hear a Valkol pop. So I'm going to instantly peek over the edge when I hear this Valkol go. And I hit him for about 100 on blue. Now he's panicking. He's going to instantly chuck a grenade because he just doesn't want me to ape like that. Defiance is actually going to run into the zone while I struggle to climb. And, um... Yeah, teammate takes that kill from Defiance. Defiance swings in the Valkyrie and unfortunately gets knocked. And, um... Teammate cleans up. So, that was really that fight. You know, right there we played, you know, patient. And patience will give you success. So, <laughs> That was that one. Now, right now, here, we're looking for the third party. We know the third party's got to be close because they're going to be zone holding us or something in that matter. Defiance walks out the door to pop a bat, and he gets, you know, almost gets it off and gets smoked by a Bochek. Um, obviously, Bochek really has no sound, so I don't know where they are. Teammate pings where they are. I'm looking over. That dude's on a crazy head glitch, so I'm not even going to bother. Defiance gets up and gets instantly knocked again no way, bro. um i told defiance uh, you know what i resonate right there he's probably gonna die regardless because he's not gonna be able to get that phase off in so time not gonna get that off of the zone. um because of the zone yeah. and he doesn't and defiance leaves because you know defiance don't give two damn about a win you know he plays the game twice a month so he doesn't care about wins so now it's just me and the teammate um they gotta clutch up against his solo solo happens to be a bald wraith uh, she actually doesn't know I'm here yet. Uh, she will, you know, she peeps out the teammate coming out of the zone. I get a nice fry on her. She actually downs him somehow. Um, she hit him for just enough for him to die to the zone. So, um, he's surprisingly did not push off that. And I think he didn't because he knew I was a lifeline. So, like I said, pushing a lifeline, you know, pushing a lifeline Newcastle or Mirage is, is terrible it is, it's going to be a very hard fight for you to win, regardless on how many people you get knocked, because of the character. Sorry, I had to take a drink. My mouth is getting dry. <laughs> but we're pushing up uh, on this team. Well, really, this player. To try to get the, you know, the win here. This, the Crypto Drone is picking him up. I'm going to slide left, and our teammate, you know, like I said, this is a random. So I'm not common to him to push this way or nothing. But he actually pushes right while I push left. So we pinch this kid, and he just goes to our teammate direction. <laughs> and there, there it goes. He got the win because he ran to our teammate, and he had a double-tap scout. So, um, yeah, if there's one one thing that I would always, you know, big tip is just patience and surroundings. Like, always try to just keep turning in, like, 90-degree angles mid-fight when you're healing there's or something to just make sure that, like, you're not right, getting right? third party. But, as always, I got two gameplays for y'all. That is the first one. And, uh, nice 11 kills. And, uh, on to the next. This is another game, obviously. Like I said, on to the next one. And right now, I'm pushing up. And my aim right here on this Octane was not the greatest, but I still got the knock. Bangler here pushes with the T-Take instead of the R301 that she has in her box. Later, you will see. Terrible decision, honestly. I know the triple-take is kind of like a shotgun, but... I'm going to get a quick armor swap, and boom. There's a nice, easy squad white. Um, those kids both climbed up at the same time. I don't know why that kid, see, I don't know why he pushed with the triple take. I mean, I guess he had attachment stuff for it, but he wasn't really hitting me with it. And when he was, he was in for like 40, so he's better off just using his AR in that fight. And this was really just the only people we fought here at Energy, so uh, to be honest, that was that was that fight, you know? So, uh, on the next. This fight right here is a big example of what I said earlier, I do believe. Hopefully I said it in this commentary, not the last one that got chalked and I had to redo it. Um, when you pull up to fights third party, and we pulled up to this fight third party. We, there was two teams fighting here. We wanted to pull up and get some free kills. Um, we actually ended up being the third, like, we ended up getting third party by being the third party because we put ourselves in a bad spot. Right there, I got the knock, obviously, and I'm going to instantly thirst. Got to secure the kill after I got done popping that Phoenix. Defiance gets knocked by a team, the the technically the third party that's third partying us now because that team had pulled back, which is the smart thing to do. So I'm gonna go tap Defiance. The game doesn't register that I tap him. I shoot my my shotgun into the dirt, and um, yeah, I get knocked to the same person that Defiance got knocked to, and uh, it's kind of just GGs after that. But somehow teammate throws a clutch lift, and um, I'm pinging that I want him to like get out of that fight. You know, I want him to leave it, come res me so I can res Defiance, 
and basically just reset that entire fight. So now, really what I'm doing is I'm kind of stalling time, you know. I want him to come get me, res, and then we sit here and we full heal. And while we're sitting here healing and getting res, the other two teams now are fighting. See, that kid gets the... He thirsts someone with a 301. So now I already know one team is down a player. Uh, um, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I know one person is down a, uh, a player. Kind of just looting, seeing if I can get some bats. Teammate throws the lift. We're climbing up on it. And I'm going to instantly look around. I don't see anyone. They ping. I'm going to throw, you know, some... Uh, some arc stars. Try to get some knocks with that. Maybe some damage. And the other team's dead. Um... So now it's just one squad right here. I'm aping up. I see dude on my left instantly pull on my PK. He gets two pumped. Um, Defiance uh, gets double shotgunned, actually. So he gets knocked instantly. Bad day for Defiance, honestly. Um, peek over. Boom, there's that fight. And these games were actually back-to-back, -back, like the first game. And then this was right after that first game. So I got both of these gameplays, just two games. Um, pretty nice and simple. But... Yeah, that was that fight. Uh, like I said, though, if you can pull out of a fight and then third party, like, it, it it makes fights a lot easier. You know, we third party, then became the third party, and then third party, you know. Complicated, but when you think about it, it's really not. Um, and uh, I do recommend, you know, a lot of people, you know, if you guys start doing that a lot more if you don't already. Uh, that was that fight, though, and uh, on to the next. Right here, we're pulling up to a fight. Uh, I see the Pathfinder. Hit him. Uh, he goes up the lift. Sadly, no knock. Big tough, big pains. You know. Uh, I'm going to ape in here without my gun out. And then I instantly, for some reason, I pull out my 301. Bad decision on my end, honestly. Because that kid had a prowler. If he would have actually, like, knocked me, I couldn't even have had any, like, excuse, no nothing. Because I pulled out a 3x assault rifle inside of a building. Um... Do not, do not do that at all. If you guys are pushing inside of a building, make sure that you have your secondary, you know, uh, in your hands or at least in the slot yeah, to when, like, you, you know, you pull off your heirloom. You know, you pull your gun out. It's at least on your secondary and not your primary because that about killed me. And then they kill the original Pathfinder that I shot through the air and couldn't get the knock on, sadly. But, you know... Bad decision making on my end somehow still worked. If that Pathfinder had any sure, bit of better like aim or PTSD, you know bro, like, uh, more confidence because he did pull out of that fight, nerve, he would have actually gotten me. You know he would have killed me and, and I would have went down because the Prowler is very overpowered and my shotguns hit yeah, nine when he went outside. That. So and I shot one into the ground. But overall that fight was a little bit sketchy because I almost threw. But um we got it done. That was that fight and uh, you already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> On to the next. As you can see, we didn't go too far. I hear uh, Valkyrie jetpacks behind me. I'm going to instantly turn around, and the sad uh, life of Lifeline mains, she gets one mag. You know, I feel that pain. I feel it uh, dearly being a Lifeline main. She gets one mag, and this actually makes this fight, I mean, a hundred times easier because the res character's already knocked. Get the pathy. I'm going to shoot at the Valk. She's fraud. I'm just trying to thirst to scare my kills in case some, you know, something stupid happens. We get thirded or something. But right there... You know, if it is, you know, this is going to pay me to say because I main lifeline. If you can get the knock on the lifeline, the mirage, or the new castle first, um, definitely try to do so because us knocking that kid in that fight made that so much easier. Um, that kid really couldn't do anything. He couldn't, you know, they, those, well, I guess kids couldn't really do anything. You know, they weren't. Had no res character, they had nothing, you know, the le the health mm -hmm. drone, so they couldn't heal with it and pop the bat at the same time. It just sucks, you know, when, you, when your res character goes down oh, first, but so it's a big rare. benefit to you. Now, right now, we're flying on this team. Sadly, this kid climbs up the roof as soon as I do. Um, I'm trying to ape him, but uh, he ends up getting knocked, you know. Defiance kills him, so that's a good thing. We got one knocked. Teammate gets fried going up the lift, and I absolutely evaporate this kid going up the lift with a prowler. That's what I'm talking about when I say prowler's OP. And then I get no audio by the ballistic, which is fine. I believe my teammates, they clutch up. And I'm telling them to just grab me right away so we don't get third party. But I'm just going to skip to it. The last kid is a solo caustic, so it's nothing really crazy. Um, so, yeah. That was that fight. Pretty nice and simple. Nothing really crazy. On to the next. Like I said, solo caustic. We're pushing. I'm shooting into the wall for some reason. 
um, you know, broke him. And, you know, him being a caustic, I almost fell off the map right there. I don't know why the game would, like, mantle me. I don't know why he didn't just hold that building to his left. Um, instead, he just keeps running and then, like, panic chucks his ult or something. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what he was doing. Um, that was an interesting caustic for sure. Um, I don't know why he would just, you know, go trap up that building and then use his ult to, like, kind of uh, block off that main entrance, the one where there's no door. But he didn't, so we get the dub on that one. Um, if you guys do enjoy this, make sure to let me know. You know, comment below. Uh, this video took me way longer than it should. Um, this video is over 21 minutes long, and I had to redo the entire commentary. So, th I just spoke for, like, 42 minutes straight. Um, my jaws hurt. <laughs> but, if you guys enjoy it, please let me know down below. Or, if you hate it, let me know. You know, say, uh, you know, I want some more commentary. Or, Marcus, please never speak for that long again. Um, just let me know. And, uh, I appreciate all the support recently. The video's been doing great. We just hit 1,600 subs. And, uh, hopefully this video does good, too. Because it took a lot of time. And, as always, it's Marcus. Stay safe. Have a good day or night. And, uh, hope you enjoy. Peace.